road trip time going from northern Utah to Las Vegas, then back. And this is just a quick little turnaround trip. It's a three-day deal. I've got a couple exciting things that I'm going to try out on this. My main thing, though, is that I want to see my fuel mileage, see if I can improve on my best. Now, recently I put on ZR2 wheels and tires and that dropped my fuel mileage, but I've also added the PP carbon intake pipe and the air aid intake. So with everything on there, I want to see what my fuel mileage will be with all of these nice little go fast goodies on there. So I've put the stock wheels and tires back on it to get the absolute best fuel mileage and get the most accurate possible. So we're going to be going by what the dash says as well as hand calculated, but also we're going to do a little something different. So I'm going to use my everyday diesel treatment EDT from Hotshot Secret. I love this stuff. This is what I use. This is my go-to additive. But we're also going to try their FR3 product, which says that it reduces oil temps and increases fuel economy. Now, I've never been a believer on any of this stuff that you pour into engine oil. But what the hey, let's give it a try on this trip. I totally want to see. So we're going to be using the Banks iDash to get all of my recordings. And at the end of it, I'll go over the data and we'll see what the engine oil temps were going to Las Vegas. Then I'm going to add this stuff. And then we're going to come back from Las Vegas. And we're going to see what the engine oil temps are and if there's any fuel mileage differences. And lastly, it's my birthday weekend. And I want to enjoy my favorite cake in my hotel room looking over the strip of Las Vegas. So what I have here is this cooler from Bodega, and this has a built-in refrigerator freezer. It can be plugged into the outlet in the bed, and this is just, this is amazing. So I've got this pre-cooled already. I'm gonna throw my cake in there, and we're gonna head the whole distance to Las Vegas. It's only gonna be running whenever the truck is running, and I've never really tested the outlet in the bed itself. And so this is gonna be a whole trip of, what is it gonna be, six hours? I can't wait to give this a try. Hopefully I have no issues with this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna test out the whole electric system of the bed outlet. So I'm excited to do this. Def is topped off, tank is full. Let's get on the road. Starting fuel mileage is best at uh, 25 is 43.1, 50 is 33.7, and 450 mile range is 27.9. Now, if you've seen my videos before, you know I run the truck hard and when the speed limit is 80, we go 80 at least. So the fuel mileage is well earned, and if I wanted absolute best, I would slow way down, but I am after real life results, not necessarily absolute best that we can get. All right, we went through a flash flood warning of a storm while we were inside, wherever the heck we are, the outlet center in Vegas. And this was sitting back here. That's why I zip tied that up there, so that way we didn't have any issues, because I had a feeling we were gonna rain. I was in there for I think four hours now, three hours at least. Let's hope that thing's still cool in there. Let's get rolling and we'll check it at the hotel. I've never brought a cooler to a hotel before, but I figured this would be neat to have. It will run off a regular wall outlet, and obviously the truck outlet has plenty of power to keep it running. You just need 90 watts, and if you can get that out of a solar panel system that you have, or even through a cigarette lighter of your car, then that's enough. Just make sure it's got 90 watts to power it up. And the bonus with having this bodega cooler is now I don't have to buy the $15 drinks at the little stores as I have them already cooled. We know the tiny fridge they offer in the room runs extremely warm and with this bodega cooler I am able to set this to freeze or cool based on my needs. It's easy to transport with the wheels and the handle. There's an app to control the temps but I found the screen and the buttons to work pretty well for my use. The cooler is super quiet when it's on. I didn't even notice it on in, in the room aside from the bright screen. I was able to enjoy my cake as I wanted and the drink stayed cool the whole trip. Did I mention I, it also seems pretty well built? Durability test. It's time to head back home, so let's fill this truck up and see what our mileage was. I also need to add the FR3 to the oil so we can see what it does for the trip back. With the PPE deep pan, I have 8.5 quarts of oil, so I need to add 12.75 ounces. Looks like hand calculated at 24.2 mpg with the Fuelie app, and my dash is reporting 27 mpg after 469.4 miles. My 25 stayed the same at 43.1 but 50 made it up to 35.9 from 33.7, and my 450 went to 28.3 from 27.9. My normal fuel app mileage is 22.23, so that was an improvement as well. 
Now the oil additive is in and the fuel is topped off. Let's head home and see what else changes. The drive back was pretty mellow. We had several hills to climb and maintain the speed limits as best we could. Only minor traffic at one point in time, but the truck performed flawlessly as expected. I want to point out that the drive to Vegas, it completed one regen, and the drive back home, it did not need to do one. Home now, and my MPG for this stretch was 25.7 through the Fuely app, which is superb given the speeds I was going. My best MPG on dash was unchanged for 25, 50, and 450. Def consumption after topping off was 1.4 gallons after 871 miles. Now, after looking over the data for the engine oil temps, I see no difference in before the FR3 and after. I know it wasn't a super scientific test, but wanted to run it for fun. All data was uploaded to datalogviewer.com, provided by Banks, and that gives me the ability to compare all of my information recorded. Thanks for joining me on this adventure. Hope to see you on the next one.